The rotary atomization principle starts with the rotation of the drive motor. A belt transfers this rotation to the rotary cup shaft. Both the primary air fan impeller and the rotary cup are mounted on this shaft. The rotary cup rotates about twice as fast as the drive motor. As the oil flows into the cup, the centrifugal force from the rotation spreads it out into a thin film that streams to the front rim of the cup. If there were no air stream, the oil would be flung off the rim of the cup almost radially. You need combustion air for ignition and for clean combustion. In the SKVJM, it is divided into three partial streams, two of which take an active part in the atomization. The primary air, shown here in light green, is blown into the oil film here and rips it apart into tiny droplets. In other words, it atomizes it. At the same time, these droplets are deflected to the best atomization angle. The secondary air, shown here in light blue, supplies the largest portion of the oxygen that is necessary for combustion and determines the shape of the flame when it is formed.